Jeff. Today we're going to be making deep fried soup. It's something I learned a long time ago in culinary school and it's always a, a party hit. For this recipe, you're going to need some ground chicken. Um, you can pretty much do it with anything like ground turkey or ground beef or ground pork. But today we're going to use ground chicken. Uh, we're going to need our dredging mixture. So we have eggs, flour, and I'm going to use panko uh, breadcrumbs. Um, just makes it a little extra crispier on the outside. And then also some herbs. Um, we're going to use basil for the garnish. We'll put parsley in the, the meat mixture with some shallots and garlic. And the uh, highlight is the soup. Um, I'm using uh, a flavored broth. Uh, normally I buy a whole chicken and I debone it and I put the meat in the freezer for another day. And I take the bones and I make my own stock. Um, carrots, onion, celery, and a bay leaf. And I simmer that for three hours. Uh, the main benefit of that is that you can control your sodium content. Strain that off, throw it in the freezer. But what I did with this is I made chicken legs for the kids one day. Took the chicken legs, threw it in a frying pan or a uh, frying pan with uh, rosemary and, and uh, garlic, and I roasted it in the oven. And when I pulled it out, I took all the meat off the bones and the leftover fond in the bottom of the pan and the chicken bones, I boiled, took that chicken stock and I simmered it again, making it extra flavorful. And then to finish off the broth, strain it and then you can flavor it any which way you want. So what I did is I put thyme in it, brought it up to temperature, let it steep, so that it has a pretty strong thyme flavor in the broth. Then I just dropped it in ice cube trays and freezers. And this is what we're gonna make our this is going to be the heart of the, the deep fried soup. So the first step in this, we're going to take the, the force meat, the chicken meat, and we're going to season it up a little bit. And then we're going to start making, uh, forming the, uh, the, the ball, the, the, the soup ball. And so I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with some, uh, some garlic. And I usually do sometimes as a pain to get the skin off. And I just smack it with my knife. It's a really small knife. Smack it and then the skin just comes right off. I'm just going to mince this up. I'm just going to throw it in the meat there. I'm going to dice up some shallots. And then cutting across the uh, sideways a couple times. I'm gonna make some really, really small cubes. I'm gonna slice it down here, a couple little strips. There. I'm just going to dice up some parsley. And then we're going to mix it all together. I might as well throw in um, an egg yolk to help bind it all together. And of course, if it gets too wet, you can always add a little bit of the, a little bit of the flour or the panko to dry it out a little bit. And then of course, 
uh, it'd be nice to see what the seasoning is like in the meat. So some classic old French chefs will taste it raw, but I would suggest that you load a frying pan and fry up just a little tiny patty on the stove to see if it has enough salt and pepper to your liking. Some of uh, this chicken meat here. I'm gonna make a ball in my hand. Put the size of a little, a little bit bigger than a meatball. And it's gonna take some the shuffling between here and the freezer because uh, the colder this stays, um, the easier it's gonna be. And also, the, the ice cubes won't won't melt. So I'm just gonna make a little pocket in there. I'm gonna take one of these ice cubes, put it in there. And I'm gonna put a little chicken meat on top. We're gonna try and patch this all together. And then we're gonna to race towards the freezer and get it in there. And it'll be easier to manage when it's half frozen. And we want it nice and firm out of the freezer for when we dredge it. So I'm just trying to close up the holes. And again, we can do this when it comes out of the, the freezer. I'm gonna patch it up the best I can. So I got four done out of the freezer and the benefit of this is uh, the chicken meat uh, hardens up a little bit and it's easier to, to manage when we dredge it. So I'm gonna get my dredging mixture ready. Uh, we're gonna use just egg whites. Uh, with egg whites, the, uh, the crust of the final product will be just that much more crispier. Uh, so we'll just keep the egg yolks aside. chicken is out of the freezer. It is firmed up a little bit, so it'll be easier to manage. Set this aside. And your flour, don't forget to season with salt and pepper. Here noticeably a little more firm, so I'm gonna look all over and make sure there's no holes in it. It all this one looks all looks pretty good. So then we are going to start with the flour. I'm just gonna put it in there. The next one I'm looking for holes and cracks. Make sure it's all together. That one looks pretty good. This one here you can see some cracks in the bottom. So we're just gonna move the meat over top and get it all sealed up. There's a corner there. I'm just gonna try and cover that up. And what this meat is, is gonna do is gonna create a, a bit of a, a case on the outside of the uh, stock and hopefully keep it in there. And that one looks okay. I'm gonna put it in there. This one has a couple spots. It's easier to manage now that uh, the meat is a little firmer and cold and it's not as sticky. That one looks pretty good. And we're just going to start the dredging process. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop them in the freezer for one last couple minutes uh, before I throw them in the deep fryer. We can probably throw them in the deep fryer right now. That's just that's probably okay.
ready to go. So I got my fire warmed up to about, uh, about 350 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. And we're gonna drop these things in. There's one. We're gonna let these cook and the idea is to cook the force meat and then melt the inside. And one of the main things right now that I'm gonna be looking for is a leak. If I notice any abnormal bubbling coming out, I'm gonna to have to take it out and we won't be able to use that one. Um, but fingers crossed, uh, the force meat and the dredging will help seal that uh, broth. I think this one's ready to go. Catch the excess uh, oil there. And for anything fried, of course, you want to add a little bit of salt to the outside. And we'll pop one in the bowl. And I'll ship and add up some, uh, some basil to go on top of that. Just thinly slice it. and then that's ready to go. So then when you take your spoon and you cut into it, we're gonna hope that there's some. There's the soup. Bon appetit. Mmm, delicious.